Hi friends, Lindsay here from Diary of a Homeschool Mama. Um, I am struggling a bit with a summer cold, so I may sound like crap in this video and I'm really sorry. <laughs> um, but I wanted to go ahead and get this video done for you guys. Um, so this is basically my video of my first impressions of Sunlight HPLB or Core B. Um, so we are struggling a little bit with this, with some of the aspects of it. Um, okay, let's just go and dive on in to everything here. Um, first I'll show you a little bit of the teacher's guide, which I'm not going to show a whole lot because, um, I do have a full, like, unboxing and stuff of this, which I will definitely link below. But basically you open it up to the week you're on. Um, I'm just opening up to week seven and it breaks it down for, um, what you're going to do for Bible, history and geography, and then read alouds. Okay. So, um, let me close this up. First, I want to talk about the Bible portion. So for Bible, sorry guys, I'm not very good at with camera skills today. So for Bible, um, we use this leading little ones to God. It's basically a devotional, I guess. Um, and we go through the lesson, which I have a whole video on how we are doing Bible this year as well, which I will also link below. But, um, you basically just go through the lesson here and, um, you read that and then you read, uh, your part in the Bible. So the suggested reading for this is 1 Samuel 3, 1 through 10. And so that's what we would read. And then it also has like the memory verse, something to talk about, which this is my favorite part right here. Um, we do like this, but it is a little bit boring. And I can tell that my son is not really picking up a whole lot from what we're reading. Um, I don't know. He's a very hands-on kid and so reading to him is good for some things but it's not always good for everything um so I've kind of been trying to add in some things to this um maybe like some bible journaling and things like that to try to um kind of get him excited for it and stuff because I really do want him to um like doing bible time I mean it's that's very important to me and last year um I didn't push it as much as I should have, and so he kind of got into the habit of not having to really do it as much, but this year I really want to focus on it and get it, get him to where he likes studying his Bible and he likes reading his Bible and all of that stuff. Um, so I am really trying to get him to like this more by, by adding some Bible journaling and stuff to it because he does need the extra activities. Um, so this is okay. This is, um it's okay. That's all I can really say about it. But, um, the next thing that I want to show, let me see here. I'll go ahead and do this. Um, this is the poetry for this HBL. I know that they've since changed it since this one is from like 2012 or something. Um, so I mean, I can't really say that that one's any better because I don't have it. But for this one, we're really not loving it like at all. We've pretty much stopped doing it all together. And that's okay because his language arts with the good and the beautiful includes poetry. So it's not a huge deal, but I'm, I'm kind of finding myself a little bit upset because I feel like I keep removing things from this program because we're not liking them or adjusting things because he needs more of hands-on or something like that. And, you know, it, it's upsetting because I really, I should have known this when choosing history for him, that this is all reading. I don't know why I thought this would be a good fit for him, but I did. And, and I let him kind of influence that a lot too, because he saw that his brother was getting, um, HBLD and he had seen this one in the catalog and he thought it looked really cool because, you know, you get all these books in the mail and yeah, it looks pretty. I get that. I felt the same way. So I get it, but I should have thought this through a little bit more and realized that maybe this wouldn't be the best thing for him. Not that he doesn't like reading because he does, but he's not a kid that wants to constantly be read to like my other son. So sunlight's a great fit for my oldest, but for my youngest so far, we're finding that we're just, we're struggling with it. So 
don't really love this, but I do believe they've changed it to a different one since then, so I can't, I don't know um, what that one is like. This next book I want to talk about is extremely graphic, and of course there's notes in the instructor's guide, but um, yeah, I, I just don't find this appropriate for kids that are ages what? I think the age range for this is like six to eight. This is really not appropriate. Um, some of the stories in here are good, but some of them are, are really not okay. And so it's, it's, you know, it's a toss up of whether or not it would be a good fit for any students that age. I mean, some of the stories, like I said, are okay, but you just have to really hone in and pay attention to the instructor's guide and see what you think, because there is some, um, gore in this and some rather scary things that happen. So yeah, I don't know if this is still a part of the current package. I don't believe that it is. Um, and that might be why they removed it because other parents were maybe complaining. I don't know, but I've found since I bought this core, um, used that I kind of wish I had went with the current package, even though at the same time, I don't because the amount of money that I would have been spending would have been severely more than what I spent on this used. So, um, I guess to find out if it was for us or not, it was good to buy used. Um, the next thing, finally, I have something positive to say. I'm sorry for so much negative. We are absolutely loving the read alouds, but here's the, here's the catch with this. Um, None of them really pertain to what he's learning in history whatsoever at all. And I know that Sunlight doesn't really line up the uh, readers and read-alouds with history until you get to D. But at the same time, I had kind of hoped that we would have more books that pertain to what he was learning in history. We do have a couple. There is Detectives and Togas, which is, you know, it's going to pertain to some of the stuff he's learning. There's a few. But with my oldest... For D, literally every book pertains to what he's learning. And I just kind of felt like, I don't know. It, I could have picked my own read-alouds had I really thought this through and realized, like, hey, this isn't really, has nothing to do with history that you're learning. Like, I don't know. And it is what it is. We do really love the read-alouds so far. Um, we are loving Charlotte's Web. We are only about two or three chapters into Homer Price, but that one is really good as well. So, loving the books so far, and I really can't complain about them. The only thing I can complain about is that I wish that there was more things that pertain to the time period we were studying. But, um, at the same time, I know that for this age level, there's probably not many books that are about ancient Egypt or ancient Greece or any of that that would be totally appropriate for this this grade level either. So I'm not really sure what to think as far as all of this goes. Um, the next thing I want to talk about is the books that you actually use for history. There is a multitude of them. Some of them okay, some of them not so much. Um, a lot of them are Usborne books, which typically I love. But some of the ones in this one, I'm not loving so much. It, it's kind of all over the place. Um, for me. And when I see these pages, I get kind of overwhelmed. Um, and I can tell that my son does too. It's a lot. Sorry for that picture that just showed. Very inappropriate. Hope you're not watching this with children. Um, I will try to edit that out. But, you know, some of the stuff in here is just, it's just, I don't know. I, I don't know why we're just not doing well with this. And it's upsetting because I had such high hopes for it. And I really hoped that it would be great. And, you know, I was one of those people who I have a list of what I'm hoping we'll use throughout our homeschool career for each of my kids. And I know that's kind of ridiculous. If anyone else does that, let me know below. <laughs> but um, I really just thought that like we would all love sunlight and this would be something that we could stick to for the foreseeable future. And it would be perfect. And it hasn't been for for level B. We're loving level D, and I will have a first impressions of that one coming up soon. Um, but level B just is not, is not working for us very well. And so I have made a really, really tough decision 
um, to switch to something else. And I'm not going to tell you guys what that is yet because I do have another video that will explain that. I'm not even 100% sure what we're switching to yet. Like, I'm still kind of trying to decide. I have a couple things that are in the back of my mind that I'm thinking about doing. Um, one of them being not grass, which we already own. Um, and that was what I had planned to use for this year, but I didn't. So I'm kicking myself for that now. Trust me. But, um, it's not too, it wouldn't be too late to start it. And that's totally fine. The only thing is, is now we're like six weeks into or five weeks into ancient history. So I'm kind of feeling like I like the vibe and I want to stick with it and finish it out. I like the vibe of ancient history, not loving this. So, um, I'm kind of thinking if we want to stick to ancient history, we might go with story of the world volume one. Um, I've never used story of the world before, so I'm not sure how we'll go, how we'll do with that. But from the samples and everything I've seen, it seems like a really good fit. You know, there's the reading, but it's pretty short. There's encyclopedia references, so we can still kind of use some of the stuff from Usborne if we want to. Um, and then all the hands-on activities and, and um, games and stuff. That is the part that really I think will be perfect for my son. So um, it's a toss-up between doing the not grass and switching over to American history or doing um, Story of the World and staying with the ancient history. Another thing I'm thinking about is... Um, I do have Winter Promise sending me some things um, that I had planned on using for next school year. Um, that's something I could consider as well. So I am just not really sure right now what's going to be happening. But stay tuned for a video that will be titled More Changes to Our Homeschool Year. <laughs> because I've already put one up and I thought that we were done making changes. Um, but stay tuned for that video because I will reveal in that one what we are using for history when I figure it out. So yeah, basically Sunlight HBLB has been kind of a flop for us and, um, we just haven't loved it. So we will be switching to something else. Um, now I do want to say that's not to say that Sunlight won't work for your family. Um, you really need to look into it and see if it will. Um, just because something doesn't work for me doesn't mean it won't work for you. So I do want to say that so that people don't just take my advice and run with it because everyone's different. Um, but yeah, so I wanted to get this video done for you guys so you could see um, kind of where I was at with sunlight. I know I mentioned in my other video that I wasn't so happy with it. Um, but yeah, so that is all I have to talk about today. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will talk to you in my next one. Bye.